The Five Nights at Freddy's brand has grown to cover a broad range of products, despite the fact that it was initially a horror video game that was developed independently. Toys, books, fashion companies, and even a movie that was created by Blumhouse Productions are all examples of the things that fall under this category. The series serves as a phenomenon that is experienced in every region of the planet. When it comes to the property, Scott Cawthon was the one who conceptualized the notion in the first place. Based on the fact that a serial murderer wears the mascot costume of a restaurant in order to approach children and murder them by coming into close contact with them, the connection that exists between the video games, the books and the movie is based on the fact that the mascot costume is worn by the serial killer. Because of this, the link that exists across the three different media is built around this basis. There are some enthusiasts who believe that the connections between FNAF and Chuck E. Cheese extend farther than what is detailed in this article. According to their understanding, these links extend far further than what is presented in this article. In the year 1993, someone named Nathan Dunlap, who had previously worked there, broke into a community education center, CEC, in Aurora, Colorado, and killed four workers. Located in the state of Colorado was where the CEC was situated. The victims of the assault were Sylvia Crowell, Ben Grant, Margaret Kohlberg, and Colleen O'Connor. All of these persons were slain. Bobby Stevens, one of the five workers, had injuries that were on the verge of becoming life-threatening as a consequence of the assault. Many people believe that Cawthon was inspired to develop FNAF as a result of the tragedy that transpired with the mass shooting. This is a common belief, despite the fact that there is no evidence that can be considered tangible to back up the notion in any way this is the case. It is clear that YouTube video creators have effectively established a relationship with the developing series that is mutually beneficial to both parties. This is shown by the fact that a significant number of the most well-known producers associated with FNAF have been cast in the film. Matthew Patrick, better known by his stage as Matt Pat, produced a video in 2014 in which he drew parallels between the FNAF and the fatal incident that occurred at Chuck E. Cheese in 1993. In the film, he made the comparisons. The two occurrences were contrasted by him in the movie. There are more than 40 million individuals who subscribe to each of his various YouTube channels, with around half of those people adhering to his major channel, which is labelled The Game Theorists. There are more than 40 million people that follow him across all of his numerous methods of communication. In terms of his other channels, the number of subscribers is the same as it is for his other channels. Despite the fact that there is no proof that can definitively prove the idea's truth, it continues to be accepted because of its widespread acceptance. This is due to the fact that ideas do not perish. Rather, they continue to develop and evolve throughout the course of time. The reason for the continued acceptance of the idea is because of this in particular. In spite of the fact that Cawthon has never either addressed the mass massacre in a public setting or questioned him about it in an official capacity, the notion continues to be widely accepted despite the fact that he has never done either of those things. This is the circumstance that we find ourselves in and the 